Hey kids, welcome to Lesson 8, Boolean Expressions and If Statements. Number 1. Explore comparison operators with console.log. Your task. Make each expression evaluate to true by changing only the comparison operator. We can easily test the results of comparison operators with the console.log. We're going to run the code provided, see results in the console debug area below. All of the Boolean expressions right now are currently evaluating to false, which is bad. We're going to modify the code so they all evaluate to true. And we can only change the operator. The operator is that equal to, greater to, less than, all of those fun stuffs. Over here we have an example. 3 is greater than 4. That evaluates to false. We would change it to 3 is less than 4 to make it true. We have a hint right here. The workspace starts in text mode because you might find that doing that in text mode is much easier and faster than dragging out new blocks. You can flip back to block mode if you like. I think we're going to stick to text mode. So let's go ahead and get started and look at our code. First thing it said to do was to run the code and see what happens here. So I'm going to hit run. And down in our debug console here, we got a bunch of statements. So a bunch of false, 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 false. And then a warning line, which is this line right here, and then some more falses. What we have to do is make all these falses true. Let's go ahead and look at our code to see how we would do that. Our first part up here, we have variables. My first variable says the age is equal to 16. Second variable says the first name equals Marcus. And my variable Boolean is equal to false. Remember, Boolean is just true or false, so we just set it to false now. Looking at our first one right now, it says console.log, we have age is greater than or equal to 18. Well, here, we just have age is equal to 16. What could we change to make that true? Let's say instead of greater than, let's do less than. So age is less than or equal to 18. Let's hit reset run. And look, our first statement is true. That's because 16 is less than 18. So that's very good. Second one here says age is less than 16. Well, 16 and 16 are actually equal. They are not greater than or less than. Hmm. For this one, I think I'm going to use the equal to. So it is less than or equal to 16. Reset run. Two for two, kids. Pretty good. Our third one here, looking at it, it says first name equal Marcus. Hmm, that looks right, though. The name is Marcus. Looking up here, Marcus has a capital N. Down here, it has a lowercase m. This one, I think, is just as easy as capitalizing the m. Let's see if I'm right. Three for three, doing pretty good, kids. Our fourth one here says Julio is greater than first name. Hmm. What that's saying, though, is Julio is greater than first name. Well, that doesn't make much sense at all. That's two names there. They're not equal to each other. Hmm. That's a good hint there. They're not equal to each other. So this one, you have to think of it a little different. What we're trying to say is something is exactly true to that or not. And the Julio, if we look up here, the first name is actually defined as Marcus. So this one is actually false. Well, what can we do to make that not true? If we do our exclamation point equal, that means these two are not equal to each other. If we hit reset run, well, that's all it was, four for four. So this one, we just had to say, hey, these two really aren't the same thing. Moving down to the fifth one, console.log says true is not equal to true. That doesn't make any sense at all. 
because true is actually equal to true. So if we do equal, 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 now true is going to be equal to true. Ah, uh, look at that, five for five. We are doing great, kids. Our last one here says that the Boolean is equal to true. But if we come up to our variable, it says the Boolean is actually false. So we have to set this one as not equal to. So the Boolean expression is not equal to true. It is actually equal to false. Run. True, 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 true. Good job. So we got our first six all done here. But the fun isn't over. We have more to do. Below this line, examples are going to get weird. The point is, you shouldn't do this, but you could. And in coding, as you know, we can do about anything we want. This might happen by accident, so we should know how to fix it. Let's take a look here. So the first one says, three is equal to three. Let's not get caught up here on our quotation marks. This is just stating that, hey, this should be printed out exactly like that. So three is gonna be printed out down here, five would be printed out. That means really what I have to do is just set these equal to each other. So three should be equal to three. Reset run, and there we go. First one's true. Second one looking at it, five is greater than 10. Well, that's not true. Five is less than 10. Reset run. Second one is true now. On to the third one. Age is less than first name. Again, age and first name are completely different. That means these are not equal to each other. Age is not equal to first name. Run it. Three for three. Kids, we're batting a million here. Next. Hello equals false. Hmm. Well, false is a Boolean, so hello isn't a Boolean, and this is printed out exactly like it. So this one would be not equal to. So hello is definitely not equal to false. Four, 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 two more. Boolean equals age. Same thing up here. Boolean equals true or false. And right now, it has nothing to do with age. So we're gonna put our exclamation point in, exclamation equals age, and that means it's not true. Run it, there we go. Five for five, one more. Let's see if we can keep the street going. This one says first name equal name. Well, first name is equal to Marcus. Marcus is not name, so for another one, this is not equal to that. So first name is not equal to name. Let's see if we're perfect. Reset run. There we go. Our first bank, all true. Our second bank, all true. Looking back here, we ran the code, saw the results. All of the Boolean expressions currently evaluate to false, which they did. And we modified the code so they all evaluated it true. All of these down here are true. And we only changed the operator. We didn't change names or variables or anything else, just our variables in our math section here. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's go ahead and finish and see if they want anything else. Hey, good job, kids. I'll see you on the next puzzle.